They shout, M23 have finished, the game is over. After days of heavy bombardment, the rebels fled their last positions. The Democratic Republic of Congo and the UN say Rwanda backed them. This Congolese soldier claims he took this Rwandan army badge from a rebel's uniform. That one is for Congo. This one is for Rwandans. We have been fighting Rwandans. But the rebels' recent string of defeats suggests any foreign support had stopped. The government troops are in good spirits. There's no phone signal here, but this man makes the most of the moment for the cameras. He announces the victory yet again to an imaginary caller. They take us to see the rebels' last hilltop base just hours after they fled. This is the highest point of what was the rebels' final hideout, and the view from here is incredible. It's an incredibly good vantage point. You can see for miles. You can see well into neighbouring Uganda and Rwanda. Here they've got some trenches that they dug. They probably fired weapons from these parapets, and then this shelter was for sleeping under. Up there, a rocket launcher, but most of their weapons they destroyed before they left. Now it's full of government soldiers. They've moved in. The rebels are gone. They fled before the government troops even got here. Here are the remains of their weapons stash. They blew it up before they ran. Lists of recruits and statements promising a better Congo lie scattered. The victorious troops are curious to see what their enemy was up to. We are coming to reestablish the authority uh, at all the, the country because M23 had a, another administration in this area, in Yeragongo and Yeruchuru territory. And now it's over. It's a good victory for, for us. These men know they were lucky. They were soldiers taken prisoner by the rebels. Now they've been rescued. But in other bases, we saw the bodies of prisoners who were shot. The soldiers might have more tough times ahead. The government says the next step is to disarm the many militias here. But for now, there's relief that one fight is finally over. Malcolm Webb, Al Jazeera, Chanzu, in the Democratic Republic of Congo.